What's up guys, this is Ryan again from Lake Acre Scuba Marina. One of the first pieces of equipment that new divers tend to buy is of course a dive computer. And there are a slew of different dive computers out there. And then in this video, we're gonna talk about some of the things that you should be asking yourself before you purchase a new dive computer. And hopefully answering these questions will help you to determine which one's gonna be best for you. Now I will say this, quick disclaimer, all the computers you're gonna see in our video are of course Mares, and it's simply because we carry Mares. Is. However, regardless of the manufacturer of the computer you decide to go with, simply answering these questions for yourself will help you determine what computer is going to be best for you. So let's take a quick look at several of the computers we have in stock and I'll give you some questions to ask yourself that will help you determine which one will be best for you. Okay guys, so I got several different computers out here and these are just simply the computers that we currently have in stock. There are a slew more computers in the Mares lineup and once again, this is going to be a Mares only uh, selection here simply because that's what we carry. But answering these same five questions that I'm going to teach you to ask yourself is going to help you regardless of the manufacturer you go with. So the first question that I ask whenever we, or when I'm looking for a new computer is, is do I want air integration or do I not want air integration it's a very simple question it's either one or the other now if I decide I don't want air integration I'm gonna have several different options I'm gonna have the Mares Puck Pro I'm gonna have the Mares Smart the Mares Matrix and of course the Mares Quad now if I decided I did want air integration of course I'm gonna have the Mares Puck Air with Compass the Mares Smart Air the Mares Quad Air now there's several different computers that are not in stock here and we need to talk about we have the new Mares Genius which is the step up from the Mares Icon. We also have several different variants of the Puck Air that are non-air integrated. We have the Mission 1 Puck, the Mission 2 Puck, and the Mission 3 Puck. And essentially it's a non-air integrated version of this computer and this computer. So essentially it's a console with a Puck Pro put into where the Puck Air is, but it also comes with either a uh, pressure gauge and you can get it with or without the compass. So there's several different variants that you can look at as well. But the first question that you ask yourself is, do you want air integration or not? So if I said I wanted air integration, and of course, I am narrowed my search really down to three computers, four if you count the Mars Genius. Um, if I say I want non-air integration, then of course I'm going to have four different computers to choose from, and really a total of six if I look at the variants of the um, Mission Puck series as well. So that's kind of the first question I ask. The next question that I ask, of course, is do I want a console mount or do I want a wrist style computer? Now this is gonna be a big determination based off what you like. Do you always wanna have your computer with you? Because of course you're always gonna have a regulator with you. Then of course you're gonna go with a console style computer. If you want a wrist mount computer, that's something that you're gonna to have to remind yourself to always put on just before entering the water. So do I want a wrist style or do I want a console mount? For me, I kind of like a wrist style. Now, the third question that I want to ask myself, of course, is, is do I want to wear the computer every single day? And if you want to wear your computer as a wristwatch as well, which some of these are designed for, then that's going to, of course, going to eliminate the Quad Air, the Quad, the Puck, and of course, or the Puck Pro, and of course, the Puck Air. And you're really gonna narrow it down to either the Matrix, the Smart, or the Smart Air. And a lot of people like to wear these computers as watches because they are very stylish. Uh, me, me personally, I actually like the watch style computers. Now, the fourth question that I wanna ask, of course, is, is do I need multiple gases? And I'm not just talking about uh, air and nitrox, I'm actually talking about multiple gases. Am I gonna be carrying two or three different gases with me? You know, deco gases for technical diamond, things like that. And if so, several of these computers will read multiple gases, whether they're air integrated or non-air integrated, you can actually put multiple gases in the computer and it will actually walk you through deco procedures as well. So that's kind of that fourth question that I need to ask. The fifth and final question I wanna ask myself, of course, is, is what is my budget? Once I've narrowed down my selection to the first four questions, then I'll look at my budget and say, okay, out of what's left, what can I afford? So I'm actually gonna walk you through the process of me choosing a new dive computer. And of course, yes, it's gonna be biased because all these are Mario's computers, of course, and it's gonna be biased based off what I like, but your questions will be biased to you as well. And you simply ask yourself these five questions and it'll make the decision of buying a new computer a lot simpler. 
So question one, do I want air integration or non-air integration? Well, typically speaking, I prefer a non-air integrated computer, but currently I have several of them that I'm currently using. I think I want to step it up a notch and I want to go with air integration. So these four in the back, the Puck Pro, the Marius Smart, the Marius Matrix, and Marius Quad, completely taken off the table at this point. That's going to leave me with the Marius Puck Air, the Marius Smart Air, and of course the Marius Quad. Now the second question that I, of course I want to ask myself is, is do I want a console style or do I want a wrist style? Now back in the day, I used to hate the wrist style computers. I always liked the console because I'm pretty lazy. When I put my gear together, I just want to throw it on my back and jump in and have a good time. And I was always very high strung, so I really liked the console style computers because I would never leave them at home. However, Nowadays, I've kind of slowed down. I've got a little bit more uh, controllable underwater, so I think I'm going to go with a wrist-style computer. So I've completely eliminated the Marius Puck Air with Compass, and that leaves me with the Marius Smart Air or, of course, the Marius Quad Air. Now, the third question that I want to ask myself is, is do I want a wrist-style computer or do I want, or you know, a watch style that I wear every day, or do I want a quad, a larger style like the Quad Air? Well, for me personally, I'm always with a wristwatch, so I think I'm going to go with the, the wrist-style computer. However, I, I currently own a wrist-style computer, so let me come back to that. Let me think on that a little bit. The next question that I want to ask myself is, do I want a computer that will read multiple gases? Well, both of these will read multiple gases, whether it's air integration or not. You can put up to three different gases in each of these computers. So if I'm using it for tech diving or recreational diving, they will both work fine. So that's really not helping me out much neither. The fourth question, of course, is, is budget. What can I afford budget-wise? Well, with both of these, I have the option, since I've went with air integration, to go with the transmitter or not. I can save a little bit of money go and not go with the transmitter, but that kind of defeats the purpose of having an air integrated computer. So let me check my budget. Yes, I can afford and I can afford both. So I've answered all five questions with the exception of question number three. Do I want that wrist style watch computer that I wear every day or do I want the computer that I'm only gonna be wearing as diving? Well, since I'm a dive professional and my job of course is to bring people into the dive community, I think I'm gonna go with that wrist watch style computer that I can wear every day as a computer. I do want that air integration. I do want it to read multiple gases as well. And I, of course, I, I believe I'm going to go with the Marius Smart Air. So guys, using those five questions, I've actually chose me a new dive computer. Now I currently already own a Smart Air, but I wanted to show you how simple it was to choose a dive computer. You don't have to worry about each individual little feature, just the features that you need it to do. Most of these computers will do more than what you actually needed to do. So narrowing down your search by answering those five questions will make the decision process a whole lot simpler. Once again, start with air integration or non-air integration. Do you want it to tell your air pressure? Do you want it not to tell your air pressure? Then do you want a wrist style or a console? Do you always want to have your computer with you or is it something you want to put on after the fact? Third question of course is, is do you want a watch style computer that you wear every day or do you want one of course that you only wear while diving? Fourth question is, do you need something that's only going to read just air and nitrox, or do you need something that's going to read multiple gases for tech diving? And of course, the final question is, can you afford it? What is your budget? Is this something that you can see yourself using and making worth your while? So guys, those are the five questions that will help you determine which computer is going to work best for you. Once again, this video was kind of biased towards the Marius line because that's what we carry, but you can use these same five questions for any computer systems out there or any manufacturer out there. So there you go, guys. That's the five questions you should be asking yourself anytime you're in the market for a new computer. Hopefully answering these five questions will make your decision process a lot simpler. If you got any questions on the model seen in the video, check out the links in the description below as we've done reviews of each and every one of these computers, and hopefully it'll give you a little bit more insight about which one will be best for you. If you got any questions or any comments, please put it down in the comment section below as we thoroughly enjoy reading your comments, and we will try to answer your questions as quickly as possible. 
possible. But guys, if you like this video, simply smash that like button for me and definitely share it as well. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.